I think it was during the first week of the first lockdown when reports of lion deaths from Gir and the greater Gir region of Gujarat started coming in. Now reports of lion deaths in themselves is not a big news. After all, according to the last lion estimation uh, process that was done in 2015, there are around uh, at least uh, 523 Asiatic lions in that region. But after the 2018 uh, canine distemper virus, CDV outbreak in the region, every report of lion death from that region needs to be taken with a pinch of salt. And, and I think that is what uh, MOEF also did. Because on May 29th, MOEF formed a committee with representatives from, from the Wildlife Division, uh, IVRI, uh, WII and NTCA. And ask them to go to the Gir lion landscape, the Asiatic lion landscape and look into the high rate of mortality. And they had a reason to worry because most of the deaths were being reported from Gir East Division, the Dhari Division, which was also the center where the CDV uh, outbreak happened in 2018. Uh, we at Down to Earth managed to get hold of that report that that committee filed and that went to MOEF and also the PMO in the first week of June. And the contents of that report are, are quite telling. Now, first thing, since January 2020 to May 2020, in these five months, 85 lions have died in, in the Asiatic lion landscape of Gujarat. Now, just to put this figure in perspective, in the year 2018, around 112 lions had died. And the year after that, in 2019, 134 lions had died. This time, only in a period of five months, 85 lions have died. What is more worrying is that out of those 85, 44, almost more, around half of the total number, have died because of diseases. Diseases themselves are telling. There, are, there have been cases of hepatitis, pneumonia, snake bite, uh, drowning, etc., which are called unnatural causes. But many have also died due to uh, multiple organ failure and also uh, Babesia infection. Now Babesia infection is something which is called by the, caused by the Babesia protozoa. Taking all of this into account, 85 dying which in, in itself is a, is a very high figure and out of those 44 dying just of diseases and diseases like Babesia which was also the cause of death during the 2018 pandemic is worrying. Now this brings us to how it is connected to CDV. The report doesn't mention CDV anywhere. Uh, the Gujarat Forest Department has sent samples to, uh, to, to various labs to test for CDV, but those, uh, those samples have not returned. But to clarify on the CDV aspect, CDV in itself doesn't kill. What CDV does is it reduces the uh, immunity of, a, of, a, of, a, of the host animal, thereby making it susceptible to other infections. Maybe in this case could be a Babesia infection. Even, even in Serengeti uh, in Tanzania, where in, in 1993 the CDV outbreak wiped out almost uh, 1000 lions, it happened because the CDV had lowered, uh, lowered the lion's immunity and, and uh, the Babesia infection was able to kill the lions. But recent reports uh, and studies, long-term studies on the Serengeti outbreak is revealing something new. And, and what these reports and these studies seem to suggest is that it wasn't just the CDV virus, the, the African lion and the ticks and the Babesia protozoa, which were working in silos. It was all happening over an, under an overarching arching theme of environmental causes. And that, in Serengeti's case, was one of the worst droughts that that area had suffered in ages. And this drought had caused a, a, a mass mortality of buffaloes. And these buffalo carcasses infested with ticks were being fed on by the lions. And, and in turn, because the lions, because of the CDV virus, had a lowered immunity, they were more susceptible to the infection caused by the Babesia protozoa and these ticks. Now, given, given what is happening in Gir, do we know what is really happening there? Apart from, apart from the fact that lions are dying. What, what, is the, what is the link, what is the relation between the Asiatic lion, the CDV virus, the ticks and Babesia in, in the Gujarat Asiatic lion landscape? Have any studies being done? Uh, is there any scientific evidence linking one to two? Also, are there any environmental overarching causes at play here that is making lions more susceptible to CDV and thereby making it more susceptible to, to the ticks, if that is the case at all? And then also, uh, it also focuses on this more important question, which is about the translocation of Asiatic, lion, Asiatic lions, which was supposed to have happened after 2013 with the order of the Supreme Court, but hasn't happened so far. 
money has been spent a lot of people's time has been spent people have been relocated from kunopalpur in madhya pradesh kunopalpur wildlife sanctuary but still nobody seems to be bothered about giving the asiatic lion a new home and and the, all of this needs to happen now and this needs to happen because the asiatic lion is not just the pride of gujarat the asiatic lion is pride of india and we need to save it and we need to find a new home for it